William Street. I'm just going to talk today a little bit about the use of foam rollers and massage balls. They've become more and more popular in the last few years and they can be really helpful for easing tightness and stiffness following either exercise or that which you might get from sitting at a desk for long periods. So first exercise I'm going to show you is thoracic extension exercise. So we've got the roller just underneath here and I'm just going to get you to interlock your hands behind your neck and then just as if you're trying to arch yourself backwards over the roller. And you can just hold each position for a few seconds. And then you can move the roller up and down to target different levels of your back. So it might be that you find a spot which is particularly tight and you spend a little bit longer there. And it's just taking you into sort of the opposite position that you might be, especially if you are working at a desk for long periods. So the foam roller can also be used for muscle tightness that you might get in your thigh muscles, so especially if you do a lot of running or cycling. So um, you can roll your outer thighs or your iliotibial bands um, using this sort of technique. So yeah, if you just sort of take the weight through your arms and your other foot and roll, and you're aiming to roll right from sort of the top of your hip down to the bony part of your knee, all of that soft tissue there. Perfect. And then you can target your quadricep muscles, the muscles on the front of your thighs. So if you tip forwards, and again, you aim to roll from sort of right up at the hip joint down to just above the knee. So massage balls are another really good tool, uh, better at targeting really specific areas. So I'm going to show you how you would loosen your glutes. So you can just sit on it, taking weight through your arms and legs just to control the amount of pressure and then moving the ball around just to really target those areas of tightness. You can also use a massage ball to target smaller muscles around the back of the shoulder. So you take hold of that and just pop it against the wall. And then once again, just moving the ball into those areas of tightness, maintaining pressure on the bits that feel particularly tight. That's another really good technique to use. 